Welcome back to Up North at Four. And joining me now is Steve Marino. He's the championship director of the 2023 U.S. Senior Open, getting set to take place in Century World Golf Course in central Wisconsin. And Steve, this is it. This is the big one for you folks uh, down at Century World. What are the vibes like right now as we kind of get ready to, you know, to bring some of the premier golfers uh, to this area? Yeah, I, I mean, thanks, Nate. I appreciate you having me on today, first and foremost. Um, anytime we can, you know, spread the word and, and get as much publicity out there as possible, it's uh, it's phenomenal. So the the vibe, the word, the, you know, the feeling here, everybody's excited, jazzed up, ready to go. Um, it's been about a three-year planning process since we started this project here. There's been a lot of planning done, done on a lot of fronts, so it's uh, it's nice to see it come into fruition now. Yeah, and look, I'll 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 come clean here, and I'll I'll say I'm a total novice when it comes to you know prepping for golf tournaments. You said this is a three year process to hold one weekend of of golf competition. Obviously, there's more to it than just the golf, but this is a three year process. So from beginning to end, the final putt gets made. What goes into kind of getting prepped and getting ready to hold a, a tournament of this scale? Yeah, so it's it's a it's a great question. You know, there's um, so we began. I work for a company called ProLink Sports, and um, we are a third party management firm that was hired by Century and Century World to help oversee and manage and run everything on the back end of the championship. So obviously, this is a USGA event. Um, USGA is the host organization, and Century World and Century Insurance. They're essentially, it's the host site. So there's really three parties in play here. And um, and ProLinks, our, our team was brought on about three years ago through a uh, through an RFP process with Century and Century World. And we were lucky enough to win the contract. And uh, once we had that contract in place, then it was really time to start planning and prepping for the championship. So Century World did some extensive renovations a few years back. They lengthened the golf course, added some tees, put in some new bunkers, um, uh, drip irrigation around the bunkers, sub air system on all the greens. So uh, no, no small task there. And then um, our team, you know, we started to develop a team first and foremost. So we have myself along with five other folks who are full time up here in the uh, Stevens Point area working on this championship. And then it was, uh, you know, then it was about all the planning. So um, city relations, volunteer recruitment, corporate hospitality sales, ticket sales, um, vendor and, and, and operations recruitment. So it's, um, it's no small task, but, um, and with it being a new host site at Century World for this championship, um, there's more that goes into it. So it's a little different than a, uh, even though the event is annual, it changes locations each year. So a little bit different than say what you'd see on the PGA tour or, or, uh, champions tour where it's a annual event that is usually at the same host site year round. So, um, those ones you can kind of, uh, have the event, then have a little bit of a lull, dust off the playbook about six, six, eight months out, and then uh, start prepping again for the next one. So this is essentially starting from a clean slate and, um, planning everything soup to nuts from the, uh, from the ground up. You brought up that, you know, an event like this, it, sh it changes venue from year to year. Mm -hmm. How much, if any, is there sort of a collaboration with other golf courses to say, hey, you guys held this event several years ago. What can we kind of glean from your experiences and kind of take that and either, you know, get inspired or or what have you? We ourselves, we gain most of that knowledge through the USGA and what their historical data was for previous years and what certain processes were in place, what they liked, what they didn't like. Um, so obviously you always learn from experience and with us not having that uh, prerequisite knowledge here at Stevens Point or in Stevens Point and at uh, Century World, we kind of have to lean on them for certain things. Uh, before I let you go, Steve, I, I have just a couple more questions here. And uh, but one of them, though, that I, I really want to ask, because I know there's people in our area who are just golf diehard fans, mm -hmm. right? They anytime a, a tournament comes close to the area, they're there. What do you think or what do you hope that by the end of the weekend, uh, when this thing tees off, that people kind of take away from the senior open, they take away from Central World and they leave thinking, wow, that was cool. What do you hope that thing is? Oof, that's a great question. I, you know, I really think 
selfishly, I hope that they understand, you know, and, and see what a great place central Wisconsin and, and Stevens Point and Century World is to come. Obviously, we want the players, the caddies, the fans, the spectators have a great time, but we want everybody to know that this is not just for golf fans. It's for families. It's for the adventure, you know, seekers, the event seekers. So something for everybody. Thanks for taking the time. We're going to be right back on Up North at 4. My pleasure. Thanks, Nate. Take care.